Guys, this video has a dubbing feature available, so you can choose your language. To better understand the subject of the video, just click on the gear in the player, go to audio track, choose your language. Have a good time. And do you think it will be nice for Lamar to return on Vice City? Hell yeah, I think it'll be nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah buddy, it'll be, it'll be nice. <laughs> So guys, how are you? Sen in play here again, guys. Ending the year in the best way here on the channel, Sen in play. We recently had the GTA 6 trailer. We talk a lot about this subject here on the channel. And now bringing you another mega exclusive interview here on our channel. Anyone who has been following is aware that I already brought it here. Interview with the actor who plays Michael from GTA 5, with the actor who plays Franklin and with the supposed actor of Jason from GTA 6. And now guys, complimenting this team. I'm going to be interviewing for you Slink Johnson, who is nothing less than their beloved of the 25. And guys, I'm, I'm very happy to have arranged this interview for you. He was also one of the actors who was requested a lot here on the channel. And we got this unprecedented interview, telling various details about his career behind the scenes of GTA 5, including commenting a little about GTA 6. But guys, I'll let you know here that the Slink Johnson connection was not the best. In some moments, the video is a bit checkered, the audio is glitchy, but in the end we had a really nice chat with him. He was able to understand the questions and answered everything in the best way. So I apologize to you for his image and not be in the best shape possible. But this interview is really cool, full of interesting content and I hope you enjoy it. Slow down, so stay until the end so you don't miss anything. And just reminding you that I'm going I'm leaving the interview playlist here on the channel. Send in play you can check them all the other interviews I mentioned here too, which are full of news and exclusive content for you. And don't forget to leave a heavy like to strengthen, because this video took a lot of work to make. And also by clicking on the sign up button which is free and on bell activating all notifications so you don't miss our new videos. And guys, just remembering that videos like this one are only possible thanks to our supporters like Rox Energy which is our official sponsor here on the channel. For those who aren't aware, Rox is a powdered energy drink that you simply pour the dose into the water and make the most of the flavor and energy to complete your tasks. It is the recommended energy drink for gamers for giving much more energy, disposition, and focus. And just reminding you guys, here a little pot of Rox energy contains about 40 doses of a normal energy drink, the one sold in a can. So you will definitely pay much cheaper and get much more energy back for you. And this December they have special Christmas discounts. And even using my San In Play coupon you will have more 15% discount on top of other discounts in the store. So what are you waiting for? Run now on the Rox energy website in the first comment fixed and guarantee your energy to wait for GTA 6 and much more. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with the OG of Los Santos, Black Jesus. He is a rapper, actor, uh, comedian, and our dear Lamar Johnson. My friend is Link Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. So welcome, Slink. How are you doing, bro? I'm well. What's up? Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate that, bro. So I like too much your job and I uh, um, make some uh, search about your job in the, the past days to prepare this interview. And I just want to know, how was your childhood? Because I saw that you are a funny guy and I want to understand how you start with this, you know? Oh, man, it's just, uh, you know, been part of my personality, been, you know, being around the people I was around. And, you know, I'm a product of my environment. And this is how I translate through me you know i've always enjoyed comedy i've always been a, a class clown a bit of a jokester so you know it kind of just fell in line just like it was supposed to right and when did you start to see that you could pursue uh an artistic career uh probably about about the time i was 20 maybe 20 at a time yeah, I started rapping, uh, you know, around the time I was 19, 20, I started doing sketches and, and, and rapping and stuff. And, you know, once I started doing it, you know, it started feeling real, but, you know, it was a long way. It was a long road. Right. And what did you start with in rap, in acting, in comedy? Rapping. When did you make your first rap? Oh, probably back in uh I started rapping when I was a little young, 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 young kid, but I didn't I never thought of it at all as being something that I would do for a living or do for real. I was just doing it for fun because I was a fan. But you know, again, when I it was when I was twenty when I started writing raps and recording raps. 
Right. And I felt like, okay, I probably really can do this. You know what I mean? Right, right. All right. And what's your favorite role between rap, acting, uh, comedian? I like them all for different reasons, man. You know, can right. I have them all? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I saw that you made uh, many movies and TV show. Uh, each one that you consider the main role in your career? Uh, of course, uh, GTA 5 and Black Jesus are my biggest roles to date, you know, but all of them, all of them are special. All of them are important to me. I like them all, man. Can, can you, can you tell us about the, the Black Jesus? Is it, is a comedy show, a movie? It's a, it's a comedy show. It's a series with three seasons right now, currently playing on Hulu and Adult, uh, Hulu and AdultSwim.com. Perfect, perfect. And, and why d uh, did you give this name to your show? You are a religion person. Well, I wasn't the creator of the show. I was offered an opportunity and uh, to do some great things. And, you know, I, I took advantage of those opportunities. You know, a great mind uh, saw something great in me to be able to portray one of the most revered and loved figures in, in human history. You know, that's an honor. And to be given a chance to get to give my take on that particular figure is more than an honor. So, yeah, I just jumped on it. It wasn't my idea, man. Yeah, <laughs> he did it. Yeah. God bless you, man. I don't know. Uh, when, when I talk with Solo, he told me about uh, your past with the, the gang and the, the streets. And he told me that you had heard about him in the past on the streets. Do you have some involvement with gangs too, like him? I mean, we are, uh, uh, you know, I had my, my time. I had my time in which I was a juvenile delinquent. I was never a hardcore gang member. However, you know, I did plenty of stuff. And I just like to leave it at that. You know, that's not that's nothing necessary to glorify. But I was very much a delinquent. And uh, you know, I, I, I learned the way that a lot of youngsters gonna learn in, you know, coming up in the inner city the same way. Perfect. And how is for you now to remember your past on the streets and today live a totally opposite reality? Uh get money on stage. Absolutely. I love it, man. I, I love it because it made me who I am. You know, we're all products of everything we go through in life. And, you know, things I went through in life got me to this point. And I'm just happy and humbled to be alive after going through so many things that might have stopped that early on. But so it's definitely humbling and it makes me appreciate life and enjoy what I got going, man. I live a great life and great things are happening. Perfect, bro. And what was your relation with DJ Poo and Shaw Fontino before GTA 5? Well, you know, I was a, a, a fan of Poo. Uh, uh, Solo's always been a, a, a public figure in the industry and in the streets. And, you know, again, I, uh, you know, I was always aware of, 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 of who they were and their stature. And they was just uh, some dope dudes. But, you know, around that time, I got a chance to start working with them and knowing them personally. And it was just it was a great thing, man. Perfect, you know, it's, bro. It's, it's an honor to be able to work with them dudes. So when did Rockstar contact you and let you know that you would be in GTA 5? How was for you that moment uh I, they told me i think it was late 2010 early 2011 pool I, i did the I, i auditioned for the part with dj pool and i ended up getting a call from rockstar shortly thereafter and i think the first time i went to new york to start working on it was like january 2011 2011 yeah And did you have any idea that you give life one of the most iconic and important character of GTA V? No, I had no idea, man. I was just having fun, you know. I was given the script and, you know, I was given the freedom to kind of translate the script to, a, to a, you know, bring a, my perspective to Lamar. You know, I wouldn't necessarily bring life to my life to Lamar, but I brought life to him and from my point of view. And I, I'm thankful that they dug it and that the people rock with it like that. That's crazy, man. Like, yeah. But yeah, it's dope, man. It's dope. It's dope as fuck. I, I had no idea to be as huge as it is. I just knew it was gonna be great. We was gonna have some fun, but I had no idea. And I'm, I'm so thankful for it, man. You guys are amazing. All the fans, all the supporters, man. Thank you guys. It's dope. I, hopefully one day I'll be able to come to Brazil and, and hang out, man. I don't know why. I never got the chance to come, but and we want you here, soon, bro. You know? Please come come to Brazil. Yeah, and I would love to. Where, where did your inspiration come from? Give Lamar money is. Is there someone that you uh, met that was hard ass 
as him? Yes, and it's Lamars. There are Lamars in every neighborhood. If you come from where I come from, they're Brazilian Lamars. Yeah, you know for sure. There are some Brazilian Lamars, man. So, you know, they're everywhere, man. So I was just fortunate enough to be able to tap into that energy and from a, coming from an authentic standpoint. And, man, do that thing, man. Lamar is everywhere. My cousin's Lamar. He's everywhere. <laughs> So, when you work on GTA Online back in early release of GTA 5, you are aware of some of the DLC that would come out in the four years, like Lowrider or even the special missions with Old Franklin the contract? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That DLC was large. I love that. Yeah, me too, bro. That's the, the best DLC on GTA Online, in my opinion. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, when you start to record the GT Online, do you know at this point that they made another DLCs with Lamar to GT Online? Because you are the first character on GT Online. When the, the first cutscene, when you start your account, the, the GT Online gave you a race with Lamar, if I'm done wrong. Right. So, you are very important uh, on the story mode and in GT Online right thank you thank you when you start to record that that mission on gt online do you know that in the future they will have a lowrider dlc or the contract something like that i don't know i doubt it you know as far as i know i've done what i was going to do for them and you know if they call me back i would love it but i don't know anything about what's happening moving forward to be honest with you i didn't know anything about dlc until like it's already out and then i'm like the last one to know it's like you with it and i'm like yeah you know so hopefully one day they do it again but i don't know i, I doubt it how many time uh, do you start to record this dlc before they end up the 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 launch for the people I'm, i remember one came out around christmas time a few years back it probably you know probably about three four i don't know i don't know like i i i, I did one and i know about Three to six months later, it was coming out. So I don't know. I, you know, they, Rockstar is very mysterious in the way they, they do things. And really, you know, it's, it's it's a lot of stuff going on in there. And they kind of keep their stuff to the people. So it's a need to know basis. And a lot of this shit, I don't need to know. <laughs> and how else you work with Dr. Dre? Did you ever produce something with him as a rapper? I met Dre a couple times. And Dre's a real cool dude, man. And it's an honor to be able to be acquainted with him. And uh, I... I haven't worked enough. I'm looking for more work. So, Dre, man, what's up, man? Get <laughs> your boy, man. Please, Dre. Call your boy's link, yeah, please. Yeah. And me too. Yeah, and the show out for me. Please, Dre. Please, Dre. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's do it, man. Lamar is the one of the most funniest figure on GTA 5. The public has a special love for Lamar. Sizing him bring a, hey. a certain entertainment to Franklin, right in the story. Like a comic relief in the middle of the, the, the tense story, you know? Absolutely. I, I love Lamar because he's like a, a, a comedy relief on the game. And he's the guy, the, the type of the guy that every doing uh, mess, it, mess it up, everything, but he's so charismatic, you know? <laughs> Lamar means well. He means well. Yeah, he's a good person. And, and talk a little more about comedy. Uh, I want to know, considering the, the politically correct words that we live in today with the era of the cancellation, do you think that Rockstar Games will continue to make room for comedy in the next title of GTA franchise? Absolutely. Absolutely. Freaking lovely. One of the most iconic scenes in GTA V is the Lamar roasting Franklin scene, you know? Uh, Solo told me that you gave a good imprompt on this scene. Can you tell us a little about the behind this scene? Oh, it was just fun, man. You know, the, 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 the script called for Lamar to berate Franklin's haircut. And I just, you know, <laughs> I just talked to him like I would talk to one of my own friends, you know, with a fucked up haircut, man. You need to get rid of that shit. You know what I'm saying? And this is genius, bro. <laughs> That's the best Thank scene. Thank you. The, the most funny scene on, on GTA 5, for sure. Who else the idea was to recreate this scene on real life? Do you expect my friend, uh, my friend, uh, Dark Gemini, Dark Gemini photography, Anthony? He, uh, 
you know, he's a big fan of the franchise as well, and a personal friend. And you know, shit, he, he he's like, yeah, let's put this shit together. I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> and did you expect that that this video going viral? I knew people would like it, but you know, again, I I, I, I oftentimes I set my expectations low. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw on your social networks that you made a lot of uh, funny videos to TikTok and shorts, Insta, uh, reels, right? Yes, sir. So can you uh, recommend some videos that you like most that you made recently? Oh, uh, recently, uh, recently I've been working on uh, a lot of niggas know your mama video and I just dropped one this morning actually I like, you know what I'm saying, working on another one. And you know, just old stories about people's mothers when they were young and <laughs> wild. <laughs> oh my god, this is creepy, bro. <laughs> Imagine that, you know? I mean, your mom was human too. She yeah. human. Before you came along, she was a young, wild girl. Yeah, for sure. How can we know, right? <laughs> you know your mama. <laughs> oh my god. So, can you please repeat uh, uh, repeat the iconic phrase of the Lamar Rose Franklin for us? Oh man, you know what I'm saying? I, I really, I mean, I can't see your haircut. It got to come from the heart, man. It got to come from the heart. You know what I'm saying? But what I can say is this. You, you guys, there's a lot of guys out there, man, that need to stop hating right now because, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers out here doing and they thing, nigga. I'm out here beautiful as a motherfucker, nigga. So stop hating, man. Go to the barbershop and get that shit whacked off your motherfucking dome so you can get some motherfucking moisture around your phallus, nigga. What's wrong with your motherfucking ass? Your dick drives the Mojave Desert because you're a hater, my nigga. Stop all this hating, nigga. Get you a motherfucking haircut because that shit look like some bullshit. 2023. <laughs> nigga. Oh my god, I love it, bro. <laughs> just perfect, just perfect. Uh so today is exactly the day that we the day that we recording this interview. Rockstar had just confirmed the date of GTA 6 trailer. Have you been following the hype of the game? Yeah, it's amazing, man. Um this game right here is about to be nuts. I can't wait to see it, man. And do you think it will be nice for Lamar to return on Vice City? Hell yeah, I think it'll be nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah buddy, it'll be, it'll be nice. <laughs> I uh, sure hope so. So But, you know, we'll see. Everybody wants, I think. Everybody, the public wants that Lamar back on six, right? Don't look like it right now. So, but you know, I'm sure it's gonna be a great game. You know, you guys are gonna enjoy. It. I hope so, bro. Is there any unusual moment that you remember from GTA 5 recording that you could share with us? Just a lot of fun. This every day was fun. It was an amazing thing to be able to work at the, at the Rockstar Sound Stages, work with the wonderful people over there, man. It was just fun, man. It, it was fun, you know. So the uh, childhood, perhaps, you know, I'm going to playing video games to being in one. That was some, some heavy shit, man. I enjoyed every minute of it. So there's nothing in particular, man. I can really just call out because everybody was was so dope, and you know, just an amazing time, man. Perfect. And there is someone of the other GTAs that you like to act with uh, or be part of the story of your other GTA? San Andreas, for sure. No, that's a perfect game. San Andreas, for sure. Yeah. We love this game, bro, here in Brazil. Hey, man, thank you guys for the support. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's some dope-ass shit, man. <laughs> that's you know dope, Brazil, man. You was all way, Brazil. I see you out there, Brazil. But yeah. don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe you got rid of that old yee-ass haircut you got. You get some bitches on your dick. No. Nah. Better yet, maybe Tanisha call your dog ass and she quit fucking with that brain surgeon, the lawyer she fucking with, nigga. <laughs> Bro, I just can't believe that I'm here talking with you because, you know, that game GTA V just changed my life, you know? And now I'm here talking with the actor of the one of the most iconic characters in the game's world. And it's insane, bro. Insane. Thank you so much. All right? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> hey, son. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much, you. bro. And uh, have you ever played GTA 4? Uh, I don't agree. But uh, there are character from GTA 4 that are returning on GTA Online now in, on December. That is Yusuf Amir. Really? You know him? No, I don't know. I don't know this person. No. 
Ok. So, Yusuf Amir is a Arab millionaire on GTA Story, you know? On the, the franchise. And he always, he loves to use the, the N-word, you know? Ok. Uh, do you think that he deserve the N-pass or no? No, I don't think... I don't get, I, I'm not giving it to anybody. You know, that's that's a tough thing. And, you know, it's a touchy thing. You know, you being, being American, you know, we all see it differently. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of tough. I mean, it's not a word I, I would suggest anybody uses. It, it's hard because it's too easy to use it when you want to be my friend. And it's too easy to use it when you want to be my enemy. So just don't use it. Right. Perfect, bro. Good advice. Thank you, you know so much. It, you can you can you can say it like, "Hey, it's leaving my friends." You know what I'm saying? It's my n words, my n words. But the minute you're mad at me, you're saying it like an enemy. So it, it's it's. I don't really suggest anybody saying it because it's hard to tell who who's for you and who's not. So, what do you think about uh, Rockstar Games uh, use this character that is a uh... It's, it's completely completely different from the, the the people that have a right that have the right to use the word because he's Arab and a billionaire, you know, using the, the this word like a cool thing, like he can use it, you know. Well, the sad part of the fact is everybody uses it nowadays. Everybody might not publicly, and that's just you know, this is part of life, man. And if you're gonna use it, use it sparingly and know who and when to say it. You know <laughs> who, when to say it, and who to say it around. It might not always be cool. You know what I'm saying? If you have right. black friends who let you say that around them, do them a favor and don't say it in front of other people. Right. If they let you say it, that's cool. But don't go blabbing it to other people because what's going to happen is you're going to put him in a position where he has to go against you now. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you for the advice. A lot bro. of kids, I get a lot of kids that come to me and they say they want to hear the word and I get it. I said it and, you know, I said it a lot in that game. I get it, man. You know, but I think a lot of kids, especially coming from other countries, don't quite understand what comes with that. Perfect. You know what I mean? And, and how it's said. And you know what I mean? I can have someone that's not black say, hey, Snake, you my nigga. He said when he's smiling, but then when he frowning, hey, you fucking nigger. That hurts. It's different. So yeah. to prevent anything, any trouble, prevent any uh, disagreement, how about you just not say it? <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so when you come to Brazil, I don't. They haven't invited me. No one's invited me to Brazil. I've never been invited. So next year, as Solo and Ned Look, we'll back to Brazil. I hope that BGS can send you a, a invite to come to. Will you tell them? I don't know them. Okay. I don't know them. No one's ever reached out to me. So I will I would made love a... to come to Brazil. I would love to, I, Brazil is one of the places I would love to see in my life. I've always dreamed about coming to Brazil. I would love, but no one's ever invited me. So maybe you can put the word out or something. I don't know. So now I will ask to my subscribers to send a message to BGS that are one of the most biggest events here on, on Brazil to send Slink Johnson invites to come to Brazil with Solo and Ed Luke. So everybody go there on his social hey, networks and ask me yes. Brazil. I want to come to Brazil, baby. Y'all yeah. Brazil. What's up? All, all the subscribers, man, tap in, tell BGS. Be, tell BGS, man, come get your boy, man, out here. You know how to get Please. a hold of me, man. Come fuck with your boy, man. Get, come, hey, BGS, Brazil, what's up? Be oh, my yeah! My team. <laughs> We want Brazil. you here in Brazil, call bro. Me Brazil, call me. Yeah, for BGS, sure. Man. Call me. What's up? You ain't called me yet. I'm ready. I'm ready. We want you here in Brazil, bro. Please. I'm ready. Call. Come on, man. Shit. Hook that up, man. Call. You call BGS right now. BGS. Yeah, for sure. You call them and tell them that you got my number and we can do it. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. I will send a message for him. All right. For the event. So, to finish, can you please send a special, a special salute to fans of Brazil, like uh, Lamar Style with Pig Leg, you know? Oh, you already know. What's happening in Brazil? This is your main man, Slate Johnson, better known as Lamar Davis from Grand Theft Auto 5, sending a tremendous, ginormous shout out to some real players all the way down to Brazil because you know I fuck with you tough, baby. I love you, baby. Viva la Brasil. Let's get this motherfucking money. Brasil! Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> That's perfect, bro. Perfect. And now, uh, no, uh, not uh, ask it too much, but can you please ask to the public to subscribe on Sun and Play channel because here are the the home of GTA content in Brazil, you know? Yo, yo, what's up? This your main man, Slink Johnson, a.k.a. Lamar Davis of Grand Theft Auto 5. Look here, man. Like, share, and subscribe, and get with my folks over at Sunny Play because you already know this. Yeah. Everything GTA right here, baby. Even me. And we smoking yours. <laughs> Thank you so much, Slink. You are the guy, man. Thank you so much for your time, for your patience. Sorry about my English. I'm learning, okay? So you are hey, so special, Hey, brother, it's all man. good. It's all good, man. Just, hey, for real, though, hook up with them boys over there. I don't know what's been going on, but I don't know. Nobody's ever called me. No one's ever invited me. Call them dudes and tell them, man, I'm here, man. What's up? Thank you. I'm thank with you it. so much, I'm, man. I, I, I want to do it. Perfect, perfect. So thank you so much for your time, for your patience for uh give us that experience and that's it see you soon bro i hope that you come to brazil that we can meet each other personally you know yeah me too bro that's it man thank you so much thank you brother god bless you man oh.